Hi, welcome back to here. Welcome to another Minecraft Monster Tour today. I'm going to teach you how to add your very own update checker to the game. So, the update checker is powered by the CJ Core API. So, if we head over to where we've installed it, there is a new update for it. That is due to a bug that I found in the last tutorial. Um, if we head over to the util and version checker, here we have everything we need to use to update the version, which is great. And what we'll do is even print out a message in chat about our version. So, let's crack on with it. So, what we're going to need is over in our handlers and our event handler. This is where we've registered our events. In the events package, we're going to add another one and it's a player login event handler or something like that. A player login event. Or actually player events that might be a smarter name so in here we're gonna add a public void and it's called on player join event and it's a player join or player login event I believe uh, on player join event and player logged in we need to make sure that we put at subscribe event and like so we registered our event so quite simply to do this all we need to do is i'm going to go over to reference we're going to create a new public static string here and it's version checker url and at the moment it's not going to be anything here we're just going to call version checker dot check for update the url is reference dot and update checker url the current version is reference dot uh, version and the player is event dot get uh, dot player like so so that's really simple every time we log in we'll get a message saying that if there's an update but we need an update url now what I'm using for our update URL is my GitHub project. So here we are over on GitHub. This is the project on GitHub. What we're going to do is simply in the source. So I've got this local uh, in the source. We're going to add a file called update.json. So this is a JSON file. An example of this is the CJ core one, which I can show you is not there. It's there. So this is the CJ Core one. It, all it needs to be is like this. I don't think it's updated this one. Uh, so what we need to put is we need to put the name of the mod. So the name is obviously bit of everything. Uh, the version that we are on. So uh, what does it say in reference? 0 0.0.1. 0 .0 Obviously, we're probably not on that. It's just that I haven't updated this. And you need a change log. So this is going to log all the changes. This is a list of strings. So let's say in this latest version, uh, added update checker. And obviously need a download URL. So download. And currently there is no download URL. Uh, where you're going to put download, that'll be just a link to where you are. So mine is for CJ Core here, over in CurseForge. Uh, you can put this to anywhere. Currently, mine does not need it because it's not released. I'm debating releasing it, I'm not sure. So what we need to do now is we need to push this update. Uh, so if I head over to Bit of Everything in my Smart Git, this is what I'm using to manage the project on github what i'm going to do is i'm going to push this update so uh update checker tutorial gonna push it like so that's going to ask me for my password so i can push it and we should be able to see over on github if i refresh uh update checker tutorial it is here we have got this file so that is now the update checker file now what we, what we want is we want the raw version of this file so if you go over to the actual file um like here 
click raw here's a raw version of the file this is the url we're going to use in reference now you can also use the um dropbox so if you're using dropbox for this uh, on any dropbox link on the end it'll be dl equals zero you need to make sure dl equals one for this if you're doing it via dropbox and all you need is a dropbox link to this i'm doing it on github just because it's easier uh, don't forget over an event handler we want to actually register the event so let's just register a new player events like so these are all our player events and why don't i update this to 0 0.0 0.2 just so we know it works okay so the game is loaded up so if you go inside of the test world you should be able to see now that the update checker will work hopefully um okay yes it does work you can see that there is an update available now because if i head over to here we should see an error click download it will get an error because well there is no url stated but i assure you if you state a url the update checker the click to download will work and as you can see we got the change log here um obviously if we had more things that we changed we just add it like this so new change or something like that but obviously we haven't uh make sure this is on the correct version now 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.1 and yeah that is our update checker so every time there is a new update everyone who has the mod will receive information about this update which is super awesome so guys Thank you for watching, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I am out.